back to the vlogs and I'm in Spain. I've actually been here for a few days so it's the first time I'm picking up the camera and I thought it was probably best I pick up the camera when I've actually got my face done and looking put together because the past few days I've not looked like this and I've just loved it. I've just completely just zoned out and I feel like it's what I needed. We came here late Friday, our flight was actually quite delayed so we didn't get here till like midnight and I'm here at my family home, so this is where my parents live here in Spain. But my mom and dad are actually not here at the minute, so it's been quite nice. Me and Chris have just been having some time on our own. And this is our view. I'll give you a bit of like a house tour. I don't know, maybe I'll show you the house here. I feel like I've never really put it on YouTube because whenever I do come here, it's just like my happy place and it's when I actually switch off, which I feel like I never really do. Even when I'm going on holiday, I have like campaigns to do or other stuff to do and I'm not putting a violin out here at all this is my job I love it but when I come here there's something in my brain it just switches off and I have just unwinded this weekend I've absolutely loved it so haven't picked up the camera till now but now I'm put together I thought perfect time to pick it up and introduce the vlog so I'm going to be here for the next week which is really nice because I get to spend some time with my family as well and yeah I thought I'll just kind of show you around the house show you some of the outfits I've been packing you may have catched up on my previous vlog I did a bit of a pack with me which you would have actually seen at this dress that I'm wearing this one's from a dish I love it but you can tell I've been wearing a swimsuit my stomach is a lot paler than my arms I've completely scrubbed off all of my tan although I have brought it away with me I always do bring away with me my tan Lux express mousse you guys know I love it scrubbed it off because I want to get a natural real tan but of course I've been putting on my cordly SPF every day without fail so I've been tanning my arms but yeah my stomach is obviously out in this dress and you can see it's not as tanned but it's a work in progress. I'm here for a few days, I can lap it up. So yeah, I thought I'd pick up the camera now and take you along on the next few days here in Spain, what we get up to. The weather's actually been so lush, but tomorrow apparently is forecast thunderstorm and rain. So we might do a bit of a shopping day tomorrow. And also Chris asked me, he was like, can we go shopping tomorrow? I was like, you don't have to ask me twice. Um, so yeah, it's just been really nice. We've switched off, we've just spent some time together. We've had some lovely food, we've had seafood. We've had proper Mediterranean, like grill. And tonight my parents are actually getting back. So it's their 40th wedding anniversary, which is amazing. So me and Chris were like, let's get them a bottle of bobbly and we'll cook them dinner. So that'd be really nice. But hence why I'm a little bit dressed up. I've actually been shooting this morning. I've been doing some campaigns whilst I'm out here, back to work. And yeah, I thought I'd put on this dress because I want to get dressed up tonight. If we're going to cook dinner and have a nice night for their anniversary, which will be lovely. But I will show you around the villa. I'll show you bits of it. This is our, well, I say our, my family newly renovated this room, which is where we're staying, which is really nice because it's like a side room to the house. So we got our nice privacy and then we've got the bathroom in here and also a laundry room. But I love how they've done it. It's really just kind of like homing into the house, the Mediterranean style, but then also got a nice twist of interiors in here, which I love. So I just love coming here. It's honestly my happy place. Um, so yeah, my parents live here now. They've lived here for the past few years. They um, brought this house quite a while ago and I used to always come here as a kid and this is where I spent my summers so I've just got so many nice childhood memories here as well but I've realized I've never actually vlogged when I've been in Spain so this will be the first time it's because normally I come here and this is when I just have my time off but I thought I'd pick up the camera anyway and hopefully we can make a good vlog out of this so yeah hopefully you enjoy it and make sure to subscribe and make sure to like if you do enjoy the video because I've got lots more to come because the end of this month we're also going to Italy so we've been planning that today as well we've been having a lot of calls with like our wedding planner and sorting all the wedding admin out which we're trying to juggle in the background as well but it is all very exciting so this is a room from this angle they basically had this newly renovated and i love how they've done it with the ceiling and all of like the little touches and the lights i mean my mom goes a little bit extra <laughs> with some of the decoration but i just love this back wall i think it's so Gives like a nod to the Mediterranean style that they've kept with the house, which I love. So this is basically like its own room in here. They still haven't finished it, like they need to get a wardrobe and I've just made a bit of a mess over here. And these chest of drawers, don't worry, they're gonna be upscaling them, they're really old. But on this side, 
if you can see. I love up here the Mediterranean pots and that actually lights up at night. And then in here, they've got these kind of like barn doors, excuse the mess in here, um, these slide and they've also renovated in here as well. I've just got my toiletries out, but I love it. It's kind of like the vanity sink area and this sink, I absolutely love it. I really want to get one of these. So they're going to hopefully, I've um, inquired to see if I can just kind of like send the payment and then my mom and dad when they drive over to come and bring it me because this sink is stunning and I really want it for our guest bathroom which will be renovating soon. And then my mom's so cute, she's got her little bits like Zara Home. We all love our Zara Home. Cheers and creams kind of see it from here the mirror and the lights so they've done this so lovely in here this little ensuite and then underneath she's just got some of the baskets and then this side is the shower which kind of matches again that mediterranean film and then also they've kind of matched it here on the floor as well and then on this side this door also goes and this is just like a little laundry room which yeah, she's just put some like cute little floating shells, obviously washer dryer, and then this is just hidden. But the best part is this, ignore my suitcase, I need to unpack everything. These big windows. So when you're sat in bed, this is the stunning view. So nice. And then that's like the main house over there, which goes across two floors, which I probably won't show you everything. I'll show you some snippets of like the lounge and the kitchen area, because they recently did that. And then through here, is the steps down to the pool, which is obviously where we spend a lot of our time and chill, but it's quite hazy today, so you can't really see the view, but it's such a lovely view as you can see over to the ocean. And then down there is a cute little nayer area where we have like our lunch and stuff. And then they're looking to build down as well. So I won't show you all of the house, I'll show you some snippets, but this is just my favorite because it's like our little room aside from the house. So it's nice to have some privacy as well. Whilst I'm here, I'll show you some of the toiletries I brought with me. I've been using this Murad Retinol. I don't use it every night. I use it kind of like three times a week. Really, really good. I've obviously got my quarterly face wash. I kind of bring my minis, my quarterly face cream. Again, I don't usually use this all the time, but because it's like a mini kind of size for traveling. And then I've actually been loving this Elemis Vitamin C Serum. I use that every day. And then my Illuminate. So I have this one in the evening, the evening tone. And then I use this one in the morning, which is right. Um, and this has really been helping my pigmentation needs too. I've got my Tan Lux, my Cordly Serum, which I use every day, my LMS Cleansing Balm, which actually these are great when you're traveling. And if you have a big one, I just refill the minis with it. So I always bring that with me, tampons, of course. <laughs> Um, the new Cordly Brightening Eye Cream, and then always have my skin in me now when I travel. It's just kept my skin so well with not breaking out. And then I also have my mini Advanced Night Repair. I've bought some of my Elemis eye masks, and just, yeah, obviously Suda Cream for when I break out. My lash and eyebrow serum, which I use all the time, and this has actually brought my lashes back to life when I rip them all out. And then my Gua Sha, which I like to use to depuff. So kind of like all just like little mini versions apart from the ones that I can't live without, which is my Lumiere. Good afternoon, guys. It is the next day. We actually got up this morning. I went on a run. We've been chilling by the pool, but it's now started to rain. You haven't been in the vlog yet. Hello. Hello. <laughs> rain, rain, rain does not fall on the plane in Spain because it's like a thunderstorm at the minute, but it's fine. It's going to clear up. The weather the rest of the week is looking good. I'm going to talk to you YouTube about my nail treatment. Yeah, how cute. He's been getting into doing it's his nails. It's not cute. Nails. It's not cute. I'm not it doing a cute. bloody pedicure. Man manicure. Yeah, but you're keeping up with cuticle care. Yeah. Manly cuticle care. Have you put your trousers on? No. Mum's ready, by the way. So yeah, my parents actually arrived back last night and we just stayed here and we made spaghetti bolognese. Chris cooked. It was so good. Um, so we just chilled yesterday, so I didn't actually pick up the camera after kind of showing you around. So I thought I'd pick it back up today. Promise I'll get better at vlogging as this trip goes on. We've just been really just kind of chilling out, so I haven't been picking the camera up like I said at the beginning. But I've got my Maserati top on. I feel like I always wear this when I'm vlogging, and it just kind of goes to show how much I wear these tops. I love them. And then I've just actually put my dish linen trousers on. Because it's raining, I thought I'd just go for a trouser, and then I'll just wear my sandals. And I brought with me, where is it, where did I put it? My little Pauline Paris bag over here. 
and it's perfect for just fitting in what I need. I can wear it crossbody. So we're actually just going to go to the shopping mall and do a bit of shopping. They've got a really good Mazuma Duty there, which I'm very excited to go in. Um, they've got Zara, Zara Home, H&M, all the good shops because yeah, it's course. raining. I don't think they do, no. Um, because it's raining, we're like, what else shall we do? Let's go shop. And then we're going to go and get some cosy tapas. There's a little place where my parents live. It's called Tapas Alley, and it's our favourite. And it's literally just this proper Spanish traditional back street that has the best tapas there. So we thought we'd go there and maybe cosy up in one of the little terraces if it's still raining. But hopefully it starts to clear up. A little breakdown of the outfit. We're out on the holiday, and I'll take you with us shopping. got my top in here that I've got and my trousers I didn't actually bring these with me but these would actually be perfect to wear today when it's raining but there's so many nice stuff like these beach cover-ups they did have a skirt in this print that I really wanted to get as well so I've just tried this top up my mum actually picked it up I do like it but it's just with the bardo thing I think this is just gonna bug me that I have to keep adjusting it but it's a really cute top this is the extra small and I love the little button details but yeah, I think this will just really bug me. It's not comfortable, so so no from me. But I'm going to try this dress on. I tried to find it in London. They didn't have my size, so I'm going to see if it fits. I've just tried on the dress. I actually really love it. This is a size small. It's just very kind of like low cut here. But it just comes. It's kind of like above the calf. And it's like asymmetric at the bottom. But it's a really nice floaty one. And then that's the back. So I think I'm going to get it because I couldn't find my size in England. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you want to be shopping right now? 3. You were actually the one yesterday asked if we could go shopping. I'd rather be sunbathing. Yeah, but we can't because it's raining. But you actually yesterday said, can we go shopping? That's why I said 3, not 2. <laughs> shopping i am just obsessed with masma duty at the minute sorry this is so low maybe i can bring this up a little bit there we go i am just obsessed with masma duty at the minute and the store here was the best one i think i've ever been in they've just newly renovated it and it was just oh, the layout everything was so nice so i tried on at the top i don't know if i showed you on the camera it was like off the shoulder striped but i don't know if it was too small or what it was it was just bugging me i feel like i wouldn't be comfortable in it but i did end up getting the dress which has got a little bit crumpled in the bag however it is a little bit see-through so i'll definitely need to wear either a bra or like nipple covers with it but i just think this is such a nice loose comfy elegant timeless dress and i love the asymmetric detail at the bottom it's one of those you can just bring out your wardrobe year on year so i don't know what it is about masma at the minute it is just calling my name i love it and then i also went into zara and I tried to get this in England again, but it sold out in my size. But I didn't actually try it on because I feel like we had been shopping a few hours and I just couldn't be bothered to go to the change room again. So I'm just hoping that this will fit. I got a small in the bottoms, these linen khaki shorts, which again, great staple. I wear my white ones from Zara. I've, I think I've had these two years and these are the exact same, but basically in khaki. 
and then I got the matching waistcoat for it but I did actually try this on in store just over my outfit like I didn't take off my top it's got the cute buttons here as well the tortoise shell ones I'm gonna try it on so you can see it properly but I got an extra small in the top because it comes quite big so I've just put the waistcoat on which I knew fit anyway but you can see this is the extra small and it does definitely come big, so I recommend if you're going to get it, go down a size. But the shorts, I got a small, and these fit great. They're a little bit loose, but that's what I like. I hate when anything is tight to me. But I'm actually really loving this set. It's just such a great, comfy, staple piece. I love this colour, this kind of khaki colour. Also, a little tip, if you're ever in Spain, always shop at Zara Masmaduti, because it's just a little bit cheaper than it is in England. So I guess I got myself a bargain. But I'm gonna get myself together. It looks like it's gonna rain again because we're gonna go out for dinner tonight with my parents and just have a chill one. And I'll probably pick up with you guys tomorrow. Morning, it is beach day today. I've actually got this new bikini on. It's from a brand called La Rebecci. I might be butchering that. It's an Italian swimwear brand. I actually brought a swimsuit off them and I'm gonna save it for my Hindu. And then they actually reached out to give me and I ended up getting it in the bikini form, which is what I'm wearing and then the bottoms. And then I've just got my, if you can see from far away, my naked long skirt on. Obviously I've still got the tags, I need to take them off. Just over the top and I think I'm gonna do a shirt. I've got my new earrings in from so Soru Jewelry. My Celine Sunnies, Gucci hacks, I always like to cover my face. And then I'll just take like a hair clip for my hair. So we're gonna go for a nice brunch at a place called Cala Clements before we go on the beach and just have a nice chilled beach day. I've got my book and just gonna unwind. I woke up quite early this morning, watched the sunrise from this window, which is so nice. And yeah, I got most of my work done this morning. So it means I can have a nice kind of chill afternoon on the beach. Hi guys, Chris Takeover. We're at Cala Clements. Yeah. No, you're not. Yeah. We're at Cala Clements. Really pretty. That's Chloe. Wow, you do really well on YouTube. It's Karen. Hello. Hello. quite accurate. Yeah, but every time I do, you critique me you're like, oh wow, that's high. Oh wow, that's quite low. Yeah, but this is one of your favourite places ever, Tapas Alley. And it's your favourite place as well, the three nuns. I'm a five because all I've had is a bit of bread and I'm ready to pile up. But, like, what have you learned? How to you? say muscles in Spanish? Double part. So you think I've got a problem? <laughs> How to say muscles in Spanish? Mejolones. Mejolones. I'll have the wine. Cheers. Cheers. Meant to. I don't think it's a matter of squeezing it. Look, it's all come out anyway. Oh, just for just like for how they cook it. Aromatic, yeah. They look good. I am very happy in my favourite place. 
So we've just finished eating and this is all we do and we're out. What are we doing, babe? It's not focusing, it won't focus. <laughs> It's not even picking it up on the camera, but basically all we do is sit in a paper kitchen, which is a Bailey when we miss him. The amount of photo albums we must have. Does anyone else do this? Are we just absolute dog parents? I'm just going to apologise for how crusty I look. I've literally come out, no makeup, which is pretty much every night tonight. I'm. I've lost it, I've gone in a food coma. Take two. I mean, this camera makes me look pale anyway, but it's making me look extra pale, and I look crusty because I had no time to get ready, because this one, every time this week, I'm like, I want to get dressed, get all made up, go out. He's like, no, no makeup, put on dress, let's go out. It's 11 o'clock, I've only just finished dinner. Yeah, we ate really late, so hence why I look like this. Anyway. Excuse the mess, but we were in such a food coma and now we've so got shots. Sorry. What is this? What's it smell like though? Hopefully it's bleach to disintegrate all the pile that we had. Bleach, babe. What is it? Will I like it? It's nice and sweet. Not too bad. It's got weird aftertaste. Yeah, it's the aftertaste. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's because of those lights as well, they won't do injustice. <laughs> on a scale. Another scale. <laughs> Don't want to put me on a scale right now. Of <laughs> 1 to 10, how full are you? I'm an, about a 9. No, what's a 10? Strawberry and ice cream shop right here. Oh, I love it. Crepes, waffles, brownie. Should we do it? Really? We've just said how full we are. <laughs> Babe, it is legit. 10.55, my phone's gone on sleep mode. So full up. <laughs> no, it's just like that you've got it all over your lips as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, come here, come here. I think you missed a bit. <laughs> door to get some air in here but I do not normally look like this in the morning it's because I've had to get myself up today and ready because I needed to film a campaign this morning we just had a complete chill day yesterday by the pool so I just didn't vlog I feel like this vlog is very here and there so huge apologies for that it's just because I've just been chilling out out here and spending time with my family so I haven't always been picking up the camera but hopefully I can piece this together and there'll be somewhat of a vlog of what we've been getting up to but yeah yesterday we just chilled by the pool which is which you saw before down here um, and there's this bean bag I don't know if you can see actually from here over there and it floats in the pool and I basically sat on there I think for like a good five hours reading my book I'll show you I also managed to find kombucha in one of the organic supermarkets here but I cannot put this book down it's Verity Colleen Hoover it is such a good book so I sat yesterday literally for five hours on that beanbag tanning on the pool reading this and it was just pure bliss so yeah yesterday was just kind of like a day off and then we went out last night I'll put a picture of my outfit on the screen it was another distress which I believe Chris has actually took with him. Yeah, he's packed in his case because I overpacked. But Chris has actually left now because he has gone to Marbella 
for the weekend because he has a stag do and then I'm just going to stay here and spend time with my parents and the weather today is beautiful with clear blue skies so I finished working for the day just got to do some emails and I can do them around by the pool and I'm just going to have another chill day by the pool and then I said to my mom I was like let's go and watch the sunset on the beach I love doing that just have a really chill night maybe take like a pizza um so yeah we're just gonna have a chill one tonight and then maybe go to another beach tomorrow called granadea which is really beautiful cove beach don't know if i've actually said this on the vlog yet but basically before i came out here i did an intolerance test i'm gonna come out of here in case it's very windy and it, the camera's picking it up before i came out here i did an intolerance test i did the york test and it basically came back that i'm highly highly intolerant to yeast um, crustaceans mix, can never say it right, basically shellfish and egg whites and cow's milk, which cow's milk I already knew, but to know that now yeast is even more of an intolerance is crazy. And obviously yeast is in so much. So I've been finding it hard eating out here without having yeast because obviously bread, pan and alioli, all of it. So I'm just kind of like monitoring how I feel and this morning I felt so sluggish because yesterday I actually ate bread. <laughs> I had chips, which I can have because that's potato, but I also had shellfish and I woke up this morning just feeling like wiped. I said to my mom, I was like, now I understand my body a bit more. It's so much easier. Although I am obviously eating it whilst I'm out here because I enjoy the food and there's not any like yeast alternatives so far. Um, I've just decided I'm going to kind of monitor how I feel after eating the foods and like different foods to see which is more of a trigger like say if it was like prawn or a mussel then when I get back I'll be able to do the 12 week complete elimination which I'm quite looking forward to but also it's going to be hard because I love a lot of the food that I've got cut out but yeah I thought I'd just share it with you because I feel like I speak about it a lot on here about my IBS my bloating and now seeing and finding out that I have, you know, such an intolerance to some of these foods, which I've been eating all the time, and wondering why I'm always in pain, and why it, like, affects me as well. So, yeah, I felt quite bloated this morning, very sluggish, but I got myself up. I've been doing runs most morning as well, around the mountains here, but it's quite hard because it's so humid, and it's so hilly. So, it's kind of been, like, a run slash walk, but it's good to just get my body moving. I've been stretching in the morning, so I did some stretching today. So yeah, I'm going to go chill out now with my book. I'm probably going to finish it today because I've got the whole day to myself. My mum and dad have gone out. Chris has gone out. And I've just got a little bit of me time, which I'm not going to lie. I really do love. I've just got on this Hunza G bikini. Love this. It's just super comfy. It's like a brown colour, high-waisted bottoms. I've got a linen shirt on from Zara. Probably wear my Loewe bucket hat with it because this is just easy to have on. And go and float on my bean bag and float my troubles away. Good morning, it is my last day. I'm just about to head to the beach. Well, we're gonna go for lunch first. I've got my Hunza G bikini on with the high-waisted bottoms. This set is actually from Naked. Nice little striped shirt and shorts. I can just kind of button it up. Hat is lack of colors, although it's always a little bit big on me. And then these sunnies, I feel like I couldn't decide between these or my Loewe ones, but I think I'm gonna go for these because I wouldn't usually wear them. They're the Desi Perkins ones. So this is the look. I've got my sling bag. And I'm off to the beach. Mm -hmm. 